Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Man at YouTube with a, another 3D printing video. Today we're going to be testing and reviewing the Elgu standard photopolymer resin that is used to be set via UV output source from an SLA or DLP 3D printer. Purchased cheaply via the distributor on eBay, it was well packaged in a box, a bubble wrap case and plastic in case of exploding or leakage. In heat, it can gas up and expand, sometimes blowing up older containers. The bottle is almost half empty with a foil seal wrapped in plastic. The packaging is very impressive with a lot of information on safety, health, all of the input for your 3D printer and a use by date referencing when it was manufactured. The machine I'm operating is an older 2K Anycubic Mono X larger 3D printer with an aftermarket screen protector and heat band. Gave the resin a thorough shake and poured it out. Good flow, opaque pigment, smooth and free of debris. Cautionary note as usual, does give off fumes, use a ventilated area, wear gloves when handling the resin itself. Preheated the tank to 35 degrees in one hour. Check the tank and bed screws and let her rip. I'm doing the test on Wargaming miniatures for my friends who wish to paint in game of late. What I used to struggle with in the past in the cold, very large, heavy prints, I started off with a fairly solid tank. Using light supports and numerous of them at a slight X and Y axis tilt, 10 mil away from the bed. I lowered the UV power level as usual for this particular model and allowed an extra few seconds for exposure and a very slow retraction time leading to a several hour print. This resin has come recommended to me by a professional commission modeler and kit developer. The brand of Elgu printers are also comes highly recommended with a decent amount of popularity and use across its domestic consumer printers which I wish to move on to the Jupiter sometime in the future. With no struggles, failures, issues or trouble we have a complete print which was promptly removed and cleaned down in isopropic alcohol and allowed to naturally cure under sunlight for a couple of hours. Both resin and cleaning alcohol is reclaimed. The model came out very crisp, sharp details, soft walls, and the Z-axis lines are not overly noticeable. Uh, also on the top, nothing a coat of primer or paint will fix. Larger models risk splitting or falling off the supports or the supports not producing. It came out completely perfect as per the slicing software. The second test involved producing 28mm miniatures to look at thinner structure and detail. The panels and faces came through without issue. In conclusion, this is a fairly decent resin. The only thing I can lean on is any cubic which I've used for a long time and used to be all that was available and I would happy to integrate between either or depending on what is cheaper. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time stay tuned for further content and we'll catch you guys later. See ya!